All right, so I want to let you know more of the information on what was happening as I negotiated my deal with Caxon to do Dream Factory as a feature. So as I told you in the last blog post, uh, it was going to be a $10 million uh, animated feature done out of the, a couple of their studios in Mexico. They also wanted to create uh, a video game at one of the units. They had three units, two for animation, one for gaming. I figured, well, this is great. So I was set up to, you know, I put the package together, I put the whole deal together because uh, I had found it and then developed it. I was going to co-write the script and I was going to direct the feature. So uh, we started negotiating and the very first thing is they did not want to give me a producer credit. And I was like, what do you mean no producer credit? I'm, I'm one of the producers on this. I put the deal together. Of course I'm a producer on it. They didn't see it that way, and I don't know if it's a thing with the way Mexican studios work, or they just didn't understand the value of what someone puts when someone puts a deal together. And and I was getting pissed, and my agent was like losing it with them. Luckily, he was the one you know, doing the big fights with them about it. Um, and uh, plus the fact that I own the property, and they were only willing to uh, just pay a script fee and a directing fee, and that was it. And they thought I was being completely insane for wanting a producing credit. So the deal fell apart. And you know, for my first project, I was willing to let a, a number of things go. But you know, there's the reality of what's happening. And I was still trying to make it work, even if they weren't going to give me the producer credit, just so we could get this thing going. Because I know that I need you know, to move on to bigger things. You need to start wherever you can. But the deal fell apart. And, um, and I was frustrated as hell. My agent was really frustrated. Uh, our conversations were long and, and, um, and just a lot of bitching and moaning. So uh, it finally fell apart, I guess, in April or beginning of May of 2013. So I took a big trip to L.A. I live on the East Coast. Uh, I took a big trip to L.A. in November of that year. And I went to, there were three or four conferences in a row that I was going to. And one of them was the Animation Summit put on by Animation Magazine. So uh, I was there one morning and um, I was grabbing breakfast. I turn around and here comes Ricardo, the exec that I had been dealing with from Caxon, walking up. And we, we grabbed breakfast together and we started talking. Um, and, I, and I said, you know, I, I, just too bad this the whole deal didn't work out. I said I was really hoping it would. He goes, well, you know, we're kind of in a different place now, um, and we, you know, he said personally, I would still love to do it. So we kept talking and we resurrected the deal while we were sitting there. Again, it's amazing who you know and where you are. So, so we put the deal, uh, we put the deal back together, and we actually we agreed on the rates, we agreed on on the credits. Um, and, and I was feeling really good about it. So we, we get the contract, and um, I guess we had a question, and I can't get a response on it. And my agent's calling them, and they're not calling him back. And I can't figure out what's going on. So I called up Max, uh, Max Howard, who at that point was also one of their consultants, which is great, because he's a friend of mine, he's a consultant with them, so I get to work with Max on my movie. And all of a sudden, he's not getting return phone calls from them either. Well, evidently, what was happening is they were having a lot of problems on their first movie, and it was starting to fall apart. They had hired the entire crew, but the director and, and scriptwriter, I don't remember if it was the same person or not, they weren't delivering. And so they were paying the crew to sit around, and they weren't able to move forward. Well, of course, in a low-budget movie, you can't afford that. And so their first project fell apart, which meant that my project fell apart. And it was just, talk about a roller coaster. I mean, it was just up and down. And I had heard that they had gone out of business, that they had gotten shut down. I don't know if that actually happened or not, but that's what I had heard. Um, that's what was being said in the industry. And, 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 you know, it's like when you start doing these, it's like a relationship and it's like dating when you're putting these deals together. Um, well, it's kind of like dating, except uh, without the sex. So I guess it's not quite as good <laughs> as dating. Um, uh, but I do get kind of orgasmic over big checks. So I don't know, maybe it is uh, kind of the same. Um, 
but being teased all the time with these potential deals and, and everything's going, you get things in writing and then it falls apart. Uh, you know, a year or two later, I actually read something that that project, their first movie, was back in production. It was working again. And even Max hadn't heard about it when I asked him about it. So to be honest, to this day, I still don't really know what happened at the studio. Um, I never found out why everything fell apart on my end. I never found out if it's a functioning studio or not. Um, it was frustrating. So I went back and I actually started redeveloping the concept to make it even stronger. You know, hopefully even if we were able to get a, a bigger budget. Um, uh, Max actually wants me to make it smaller because the story is so big. He, he actually told me it was the biggest idea he had ever seen. Um, but I'm going to fill in, I'll fill in all the details on, on another blog about uh, all of his notes because that did help me as I was moving forward with everything. Um, but, you know, once... Uh, once that fell apart again, I had to get, because I had taken a lot of time working on it, I had to get back into production and other things just so I could keep my family eating. Um, then I was off into other production and I had to let this sit for a little while before I went back and started redeveloping it once I got the passion for the project again. Mm -hmm.